Welcome back to Samarzik Cheesecakes. Today we are going to be making a very yummy meal. We are going to be making pizza, one of my very favorites, out of garbanzo bean flour. These are all the ingredients that you see here that we will be using for our homemade tomato sauce and our dough. So stay tuned, I do have a very special guest with me, her name is Cheryl, and you will be seeing her little hands prepare the meal, enjoy. Okay, so the first item we are going to crush in our food processor is our garlic. I have put aside 17 cloves of garlic. So Cheryl is gonna go ahead and she, since she's learning how to make this wonderful meal, she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna Blend it up. Now that Cheryl has gone ahead and crushed up all the garlic cloves, she is now dicing up the onions. You will only need half of a large onion. If you're using a small onion, you're gonna wanna use the whole thing. But if you're using a large one like we are, You'll only need half. So next we're gonna prepare our garbanzo bean flour and we will see you shortly. Okay, and we're now we're using for the garbanzo bean flour, we're using two cups of garbanzo bean flour, which Cheryl's pouring in. The brand that we use is Bob's Red Mill garbanzo bean flour. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our water. Okay, so now Cheryl is gonna add half a cup of warm water first half a cup of warm water, then we're gonna get this all mixed up and see if it's the consistency that we're looking for. So far, we're pretty satisfied with the consistency and the way that it looks. Um, we don't wanna add any more water yet until we add our other ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add oil, one tablespoon of olive oil or any kind of oil that you use. And we're also going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. So we're adding half a teaspoon of salt only, and we're gonna get this mixed up. Okay, so now what Cheryl's doing is she's kneading the dough. She's kneading it and she's folding it in half, um, just like a real pizza dough. She's kneading it and folding it in half. And Cheryl is gonna continue this process for about five or six minutes. Cheryl is done kneading her dough. So she's just gonna leave it just like this for a few minutes while she prepares her yummy tomato sauce. Okay, so we're back and we are going to prepare our tomato sauce. Cheryl is going to put about a, t about a tablespoon of onions inside of the pan. We've already put oil, so she's putting one tablespoon, eh, you can add a little more. She's gonna add two tablespoons to this, okay? And I'm also gonna add some um, onions. So I'm gonna add about, this is about half a cup. I'm gonna add half of a cup, half of a cup. See, I'm gonna add half of a cup and we're gonna start to saute these wonderful ingredients. They smell so good already. So while Cheryl is stirring the garlic and the onions, I'm gonna drop in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Cheryl is really doing a lovely job. It smells incredible in this kitchen. Oh, I can't wait to add my items. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add our organic crushed tomatoes. We are using the 365 organic crushed tomatoes from Whole Foods. It has basil in it. So we're gonna go ahead and add one 28 ounce can right into this yummy sauteed. And Cheryl, you can go ahead and lower the flame all the way to low. Okay. And you can keep on sauteing. She's doing a fantastic job. This is looking and smelling absolutely incredible so we're going to go ahead and let it simmer now that it's cooking on low heat and we'll be back shortly 
Okay, we are back and Cheryl's getting ready to add two tablespoons of basil, of basil to the um, sauce. She's gonna add, she's already added one, so this is her second tablespoon that she's adding. Next ingredient that she's going to add is one tablespoon of oregano. This will make your sauce taste very good. Very, very good. Okay, so we're gonna get that stirred up. While she's stirring this wonderful smelling sauce, I'm gonna pour in a little bit of uh, pepper. Just about, I would say like a half of a teaspoon. Just a half of a teaspoon. Look how beautiful this is looking. Cheryl, do you want to taste it just to see what it tastes yes. like so far? Okay. So Cheryl is going to go ahead and taste a little bit of this wonderful sauce. No, no, you got to put it in there and taste it. Now, don't insult the chef. Wow. Delicious. <laughs> it's the delicious. The season is incredible. Okay. Mm. All right. So we're going to continue going with this. So while we are letting our sauce simmer, we are going to go ahead and prepare our garbanzo bean flour dough. <laughs> our garbanzo bean dough. Okay, we're going to let this simmer for a little while and cook and prepare for our yummy pizza. We'll be back shortly. Cheryl is now, she just finished putting oil inside of the uh, pan. We're preparing for our garbanzo bean pizza. And now she's adding three tablespoons of garlic. So that's two tablespoons. She's gonna add one more. And she's going to add some onions. Yep, she's gonna add about three tablespoons. And she's gonna get let this get sauteed up very nicely and we'll be back so now that this is getting sauteed up and Cheryl is pretty much done sauteing it we don't want it to burn or anything we're gonna go ahead and put our garbanzo bean um, dough on right on top of it right on top of it so I'm just gonna go ahead don't mind this this is just a little bit of uh, extra flour dough uh, garbanzo bean flour uh, when I was kneading so we're going to flatten this up now and we'll show you what it looks like when we flattened it. So we're just we're just flattening it around and we're going to flip it over. Okay? We're going to we're going to uh, repeat the process until the entire pan is covered. So Cheryl is just flattening it. We flipped it over and we just stretched it out and we kept going until it was round like the pan. It is filled with so much flavor, garlic and onions. And we're gonna let this cook for a little while. You can even put this in the oven um, if you like. You can put this in the oven. I like to do this on the stove. So we're gonna go ahead and let this sit while it cooks for probably uh, five to six minutes. We'll be back shortly. If it begins to bubble up a little bit, it's okay. Just leave it, make sure to keep it on low heat. Cheryl is now gonna place some aluminum foil over the item um, so that the top can also cook and remain nice and soft. We'll be back shortly. All right, we've got our pizza off the stove and Cheryl is now adding sauce to this wonderful full yummy garbanzo bean dough we are going to add some of our other favorite items we're gonna add our homemade parmesan cheese and a little bit of spinach see you soon she's adding this wonderful parmesan Cheryl can we get a look she's just adding it evenly Oh, it's so delicious. So yummy. Um, 
All right, so we've added some spinach, our Parmesan, the leftover garlic and onions, and we're gonna get this bad boy in the oven for 10 minutes. All right, this is fresh out the oven. It's looking so yummy. We're gonna get this cut up and have a try.